All right, man. I seen this big old pile of AC stuff. Let's see what we got up in here, man. All right. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Let's see what we got here. Or heater stuff, I should say. Use your knees for leverage. Lift with the back. With the back. It's a fishing rod, y'all. A little aluminum there. Uh, ain't, much, ain't much good for nothing right there. Alright, let's see here. There go a little AC stuff. There's a motor in there. And a motor. Anyways, well alrighty scavengers, welcome to another episode of Curbside Scavenger. I haven't really been doing a lot of this lately, but the, uh, you know, the the uh, competition's been pretty fierce, you know? Uh, with scrap prices the way they is and such. Whoa! So hopefully we can make it happen for y'all. Oh, golly. May almost have half the truck filled up right here. Oh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Pop up, come there, pop up. All right, right there. Slide this in here. Like so. Aluminum. Bins. We've been there. All good things. Stick this sucker right here. All right there. Yeah, we got a little room. Or you know what? How about this guy we stand up? Because it's not very tall. It's like uh, having to get the most out of the space in the truck. And stand it all up. How about that? Even better. What do they do in cities when you run out of room and you can't go out? You go up, right? That's what we're doing. Going up. Ah, going up, going up. Right there. Anyway, like I said, back at it. Hope we get the truck filled up with the scrappy scrap. Ah, make some money, have a blast doing it. It's a little warm right now, but I think we'll be all right. Look like there may be a little bit of rain coming. So, you know, do what you got to do. Got to do. Get the scrap and scrap, y'all. All right, y'all. Let's get all this stuff organized up here. Not bad for our first stop of the day. Not bad at all, man. Yeah, I'm driving by and I saw it. First glance, I was like, I didn't even like, I had to do a double take. I'm like, wait, what? Wait, what? But we got it, man. Got it before the other guys did. It's hours now. Out of ours. <laughs> Alright, y'all. All in a day's work. Alright, I see some chairs over here. Grab the chairs, man. Grab the chairs. More buckets. Big buckets. Ah, right, chairs. Yeah. All right, y'all. See some gutters. It's gutter, man. It's gutter. <laughs> Get some gutters. Y'all hear those uh, cichlids? We're tripping away. Cichlids. Uh, doesn't look like aluminum gutters, but nonetheless gutters. Right. Let's see what we can do here. Gotta work on our organizational skills, dog. 
keep it organized. Organized scrapper is an efficient scrapper. There. These we could probably bend, bend up, step on, it's flat. Probably the best way to do it because these guys are going to want to blow out the back. So we go nice and flat with it. We stick. Let's see, where can we stick it? We stick it in here. Yeah. Stick it in there. Yeah. We can stick this guy somewhere. Yeah. Stick it in there. Boom! Yeah. Sick lids. All right, we got a little little shelf thing for the bathroom over here. This car will creep by. Go ahead and pick her up. Pick her up, pick her up. It's cute. It's cute. 90s cute. Looks like some stuff over here. Let's check it out. Yeah, there goes some scrap. There goes some good, decent scrap. Get that sucker too. A broken guitar, man. They went Kurt Cobain. A little five-year-old went Kurt Cobain on that sucker. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Don't forget the little guys. All right, I think I seen a box back here. Got some stuff in it, man. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. <sighs> Look at that, man. Yeah. Those uh, candlesticks? Or is that for your... Definitely broken, huh? I'll tell you what. Look at that big old candle right there. Let's grab this tote. We got a tote here. The way we got us a tote, we're gonna put some stuff in. What do y'all think about the candle? Put it up front. Don't melt. Don't melt. We got us a tote here. Get the, the lid for it. Y'all like my organization skills so far? Looking pretty good, huh? Looking pretty good. I promised myself I was going to try to try to be a little bit more organized these days. I think I'm doing all right so far. We'll see what happens. A big old barbecue pit comes along though, and totally ruined my plan. hang on to that for little gadgets we find and such it's looking a little dark out there a little dark it's going green all right i see the stove right. see what we got here y'all big old stove add to my collection back here man just put all this right here for now how about that how about that meet me outside how about that those are good those are good i found a stuff once where these were like all brass that was pretty cool okay all right let's see what we got here how heavy you is dog how heavy Ugh. not too bad but you're falling apart you're falling apart man that's all right take you get you recycle turn you into something awesome huh maybe a stapler uh, uh, yeah. uh, 
that's a stapler. <sighs> Maybe another stove, huh? Maybe. <sighs> oh, I know he's here in my truck. Got some good weight. <sighs> nice and heavy. Let me see. I think it'll fit better in here. It's kind of like Tetris. Huh? <sighs> Tetris. <sighs> Oh, I hear thunder. Uh, no. Man, I almost got you in there. Almost. This one little piece of scrap holding you. There we go. So I don't want to go. What's hold? Hold up over here. There we go. There we go, baby. Well, crap, okay. All that for that. So we got, what we got here is what I call a creeper. Where they hiding their scrap back behind the trash can. That creeper, little hood there, man. Not stainless. Not stainless. All right, we're gonna stick you at. Let's see. Let's stick this sucker down in here. It works for me. Let's put the hood right here, huh? <laughs> it really is like, like Tetris, man. Just like it. Just like Tetris. Let's see. Just like Tetris. Ah, creeper. All right, so I saw this guy dragging out this uh, stove. See him over there? Like literally just dragging it out. Can I grab that? Yep, all right, sweet. Thank y'all very much. Cute dog. Right, he said he's got the hood for us too. So. Look at that, look at that, it almost fits. Almost, almost fits. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it almost There we go. Yeah. Got her up in there. All right, we'll just wait on him to get us the hood. Whew, yeah. All right. All right. Well, he took forever to get the hood. Finally brought it out. He brought it out with this big old box though. So. I didn't want to be rude, so I took it all. So we're just gonna have to make do with what we got. Right, stick that in there. Stick my hood up in here. Ooh, that thing is sticky. Really sticky. Okay. Put that there. And then we'll just, uh, let's see here. Stick that. Up in there. I'll flatten this box here. Alright, yeah, so we'll just flatten the box. We got the room, man. Yeah. Alright, check it out. There's a pull motor. Love me some motors, man. Will we all see the the wind blowing and the leaves falling. Uh, uh, yeah. Pull motor there, man. Ooh, it's for sale. I like it. Let's see what we got over here, man. Is that a pressure washer? 
Yeah, sure is. Golly, that thing looks like it's new almost. Sunjo, come on, Sunjo. Stick back here with our motor and our pump. Yeah. Oh, I hate the styrofoam. See what we got up in here, y'all. I see a shelf. Oh, it looks like a generator or something. Let's take a look. See what we got. What we got. What we got. More totes, my goats. Yeah, look at the shelf, y'all. Oh, I'm gonna have to disassemble this thing. Right, we'll pull off location. Let's do a little disassembly. That's a nice one right there. That's a really nice one. All right. Let's see here. You know, I'm kind of regretting having grabbed this tote, but. But, 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 we'll probably go this route. Take this off. Put my lid down in here somewhere. And put this guy, this pressure washer. It's missing the wand and the hose and stuff. But, they're pump. But, I mean, look at that, dude. It, rich people, man. Rich people. Toss this guy out here. Yeah, we're gonna have to take that apart. That man, it's oh jeez. The wall 3400. This sounds like a bunch of glass. Yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of crap I like to grab right there, boy. Yes, sir. More toads. No room. Pretty picture. Pretty picture. All right, starting to dribble a little bit. We got a sailing fan. We're gonna keep pushing until we can't push no more. Oh, and I was able to, uh, just keep the uh, shelf upright. Oh. Cast aluminum right there. Yeah, keep the shelf upright. I just put that motor down. Oh, yeah. The motor down on the bottom. Let's just stick this up here. Like so. Break that up. Doesn't want to like start floating away. Or trying to fly away. Fly away, fly away. Yeah, I got the uh, compressor to hold it in, so. Man, we're looking pretty good today, I'm not gonna lie. It's one of the better curbsides thus far. Hopefully the rain don't spoil our fun too much. Man, check out all these ceiling fans up here. Holy cow. I see four of them. Four of them, bro. Four of them. Oh. All right. Oh, the thunder. The thunder. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna outfit the whole house. All right. I'll get off location here. I'll pull over somewhere and uh, clean, these, clean these puppies up just a little bit, break them blades off. <sighs> Holy cow. All right, I see a little aluminum right here. A little cast aluminum. Let's see. Should be. Yep. All right. Stick it right there, man. Ay, ay, ay. 
Come on, bro. Right, just stick it right there. Stick it right there. Shit. All right, I seen the garage door opener. Let's grab it. Ugh. Oh, it's muggy out here. See, I got all these blades broken off. I was able to stick them up there, so. Rock and roll, let me see. This just got to go up and over the top. If we can make it happen. Oop, excuse me. Yeah, we're gonna make it happen. Boy, that is sticking up high, ain't it? <laughs> Let's try not to be going through no drive throughs eh? Hey. Hey. Okay, we got a pile of trash. I see bed rails and rotors. I'm always down for the rotors. Always down for that. These guys, I don't think I'm supposed to take these to the scrapyard because they're under pressure. But we'll break them and find out and see. I think my yard, they got a picture of something similar to that and they say don't bring it. They say don't bring it. Dude, look at that, man. Hey, hey, how you doing? The man, huh? The Sheeny man, yeah. The scrap man today. Well, that's what the trap man is. We call him the Sheeny man. The Sheeny man? Okay, yeah, you got some good stuff here, Listen, man. Listen, bro. Uh huh. I'll be having some stuff, man. How often do you come? Well, when I definitely get something, I come. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, broken old toolbox. All right. All right. All right. <clears throat> Super nice guy. Super nice guy. I'm the Sheeny. The Sheeny man. <laughs> Whatever the Sheeny man is. What is that? That's a big old metal pole. Whatever that is. Alright. <sighs> Alright, man. That's what I'm talking about. Car parts. All that good stuff. Look at that. That's a pin. That's a nice reel. That rod's broken, but I'm gonna take that reel. That's a pin, man. Pin's top of the line. I know this, because I fish. All right, well, super nice guy. He got my info. It's gonna hit me up. He says he works on cars, so. I'll be back. Yeah. Alrighty, scavengers, how's everybody doing? Sweet, 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 sweet. Sweet child of mine. Anyways, yeah, just a quick little afternoon stroll yesterday, picking up some scrap. Actually pretty darn good, to be honest with you. I mean, I got a, all those fans back there, I gotta clean up, get those brackets off. Somebody, I guess, corrected me in the previous video. I was saying the brackets are die cast aluminum, they say die cast zinc. Uh, I didn't know that the scrapyard they just put die cast i just thought that that die cast aluminum but if they're die cast zinc they're die cast zinc so it is what it is but yes we got some ac stuff back there there's a little bit of uh, uh some stuff we can clean up in there motors wires that kind of stuff all those fans i'm gonna clean those up get motors out of those these are what the motors inside those fans look like that's as far as i've ever really broken them down judging by the size i don't think that there's too much too much copper in them or whatever but that's about as far as i break them down but yeah i get all the uh the cast uh or the die cast brackets off of them sometimes there's brass on them like the little screw where the little pull chain is a little thing that screws in there it's uh either going to be cast aluminum or uh brass the nicer ones sometimes have brass in them and then brass pieces but for the most part just the motor and the brackets. Got that really cool shelf right there. Uh, ended up not having to take it apart after all. Easily probably get 20 to 50 bucks for that. It's a good shelf. If 
I had the room for it, I'd keep it myself. Got another pump motor here. Some struts, I think that's what those are referred to as struts. I don't think the scrapyard takes those. I think they have a pic they have a picture of stuff that, and I think that's on there because I think that it's, it's something pressurized and they say it causes an explosion. So, but we got some scrap here. Electric uh, uh, garage door opener. Get the motor out of that. Yeah. And there's another little pressure washer up there that uh, there's a little pump and motor in there. It's missing the wand. I don't know. I might pull it down here and take a quick little peek at it. I'm not real big on the electric pressure washers though. But this cat, this cat right here, this is the Walt 3400 PSI. I've been kind of playing with it this morning. It was wanting to fire up, but then it's like, uh, definitely got a fuel management issue going on, but it's got the Honda GX 200 on it. Uh, 3400 PSI DeWalt. Uh, it's got the little triplex pump on the back. Like this thing is like a $500 pressure washer. So definitely worth fixing up. But yeah, there's definitely something going on. It has some, It says something to do with ethanol. And I'm wondering if they ran some bad gas through it. We'll kick the, uh, the that on a little bit. I'm wondering if they ran some, some bad gas through it. And, uh, and the... Uh, Oh my god. And uh, let me see here. They ran some bad gas and it gummed it up or whatever. Let's see. Uh, see, it just does that right there. So, uh, yeah, forgive my pipes, y'all. This is a rental house. It's not my house. Uh, yeah, so it does that and then it just dies. So it's definitely like a fuel management issue. Pop that carburetor off, clean it up. Maybe put some, some fresh, clean gas in it. The gas smells good, but I'm wondering if they put some bad gas or gas at it, because it says right here, less than 10% okay, 15 to 30, whatever, no good. It says look before you pump. They may have put some gas with ethanol. That ethanol, it'll eat through uh, it'll eat through some stuff, man. We had to replace the uh, all the fuel lines in the my pop's fishing boat uh, with the whole ethanol thing. Like, it just, it's bad real bad so but the pump seems to work it's just we just got to get this engine going so i'm gonna take that carburetor apart clean it up clean the bowl out hopefully get it fired up and uh if that be the case i'm gonna keep it for myself i've got one of those older pressure washers but ain't nothing quite nice like this so yeah fingers crossed but uh anyways yes 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 scrap that kind of stuff this little pin fierce reel it's actually missing the handle but uh, my pops, he's a really big fisherman, and uh, down at the uh, his place on the coast, he's got so many extra reels and reel parts. I don't see we'll have an issue finding something for that. But yeah, it's a pin fierce. It's a ninety dollar reel. Like, you come across anything that says pin on it, grab it. Like I said, that's some of the top of the line when it comes to uh, saltwater fishing. But anyways, yes. All in all, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Got a little work cut off of me today. Not too much, just a little bit. So, you know, we'll get it all cleaned up, taken care of, make room for the next load to come through. But anyways, that is going to do it on this episode of Curbside Scavenging, guys. As always, it was a total pleasure. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, Instagram, Facebook, check it out. Got one extra special shout out to everybody that bought some merch. Appreciate that, guys. Down below, there's a link. Uh, a little banner teespring get y'all some t-shirts stickers all that good stuff but uh yeah like i said a little bit of work get it cleaned up i'm gonna go out there again and hit it make some money we'll see you on the next one y'all take care peace what we got here y'all scrappy scrap scrap ah!